There was something of an uproar when the Department of Justice took the position that obstructing uh, the right of women to have abortions uh, has nothing to do with the rights of women as a group. But the reason there's a special uproar now is uh, that the suggestion uh, that one shouldn't make a federal case out of it, just go to state court, uh, is not nearly as simple as it sounds. This is exactly the argument, the argument about going to state court, uh, that was made in Little Rock, Arkansas in 1957, when federal courts were taking the locally unpopular position of enforcing desegregation orders, uh, and when the argument was made uh, that the federal courts had no business doing exactly that. But it took a while, but President Eisenhower finally saw the light uh, and exerted legal and moral leadership in saying that because federal rights were at stake, this did indeed belong in federal courts. You see any if parallels? Done that, there would have been the, the professor's now, I analogy do think, I, just... I, I hold on just a moment. Think, Let him respond to that, please, Professor Tron. The professor's sure. analogy begs the question. We agree. It's the Ku Klux Klan Act of 1871. Of course it was designed uh, to give federal courts jurisdiction over the uh, types of activities in the civil rights movement that the professor mentioned. The issue is whether it applies to abortion demonstrators, and it doesn't. Uh, well, of course, all of the courts, uh, Jim, all of the courts that have considered whether it is limited to, to black people or extends to women have rejected the government's rather narrow reading of the law. But that's really a distraction. Let me assume, just for the sake of argument, that the current and quite conservative Supreme Court might agree with the Justice Department's position down the line and might hold that the Ku Klux Klan Act does not apply. I don't believe that, but assume it for the moment. In the meantime, the proposition that the Operation Rescue People should have the freedom, as long as the elected state judges in Kansas and as long as the officials in Kansas who have been dragging their feet and not protecting the rights of the clinic, according to the allegations in this case, uh, the proposition that in that circumstance, you just have to take your chances with the state courts in the meantime, uh, really means that the federal court loses the most essential power to preserve the status quo while a case is pending. And that the is rule the, of that's law the would really collapse if the very issue in controversy, the issue of whether the federal courts in the end are properly interpreting this much more broadly written law than one aimed only at conspiracies designed Robert, to deal what about, with what racial about issues. That what about uh, that basic if, issue? While that issue is being litigated, right. well, uh, let's you can have mayhem. I right. think, I think prof the Professor Tribe has hit on the basic philosophical difference here. As he's just indicated, he doesn't trust the state courts in our country to defend the rights of the citizens. He says you have to be in federal court or you're taking a chance. I think the Supreme Court has made clear and our constitutional system is based on confidence that the state's courts, the state Supreme Courts, with review in the United States Supreme Court, will defend our liberties. The case is as if you have a federal constitutional right to picket in front of the White House if you want. Now, if somebody comes along and doesn't like what he reads on your sign and punches you in the nose, that's not a federal offense. You can sue that person in state court for battery, and the local police can haul him off in jail for uh, battery, but it's not a federal offense, even though he's interfering with what is a federally protected Gentlemen, we, right. We now, I, th I think we now understand the two positions here. Just as a quick, quickly, uh, Mr. Roberts, as a procedural thing, it's now go, this whole issue now goes before the 10th uh, Circuit Court of Appeals. Is that right? And when yes. is the decision expected on that? Uh, I don't know the on the Wichita that. On the Wichita case. Is there, is I don't it, know. Is, is there, it could take a while, right? It could take in a while. In the meantime, Judge Kelly's order remains in effect, and the, and the abortion clinics remain open by the U.S. Marshals? The Kept order open. remains in effect. It must be obeyed, and it will be enforced by the U.S. Marshals. Yes. Jim, I All really right. can't... Don't. Jim? Right. I, yes. I can't let pass the suggestion that there's some general mistrust of state courts here. That's not the point. It's that when Congress, as here, has conferred general jurisdiction we, on federal courts to preserve the peace while they consider the meaning of a statute, uh, you completely eviscerate the protective power of those courts by saying that people can take the law into their own hands. All right. I hear you both. Thank you both very much for being Thank with you. us. Thank you. Clarence Thomas.